We all use mobile charger in a car, but have you ever thought of charging a laptop in a car? Well, in this video, I'll be making a circuit by which you can plug your existing laptop charger in a car. Hi there, uh, this is Shalza and welcome to Tech Demystified. In this channel, we do kind of uh, hardware hacking, tech reviews and circuit designing like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing and uh, let's jump into the video. I will be using the schematics to design the circuit. Basically, the circuit is a DC to DC converter. So the circuit takes 12 volt DC as an input and it generates 220 volt DC as an output. Remember guys the output is 220 volt DC it's not an AC voltage so you guys might be thinking like uh, why I have used this uh, DC voltage to plug the charger why not an AC standard AC voltage so well the any charger or any SMPS circuit the first stage is rectification stage so if you apply 220 volt AC to the laptop charger it will first convert 220 volt AC to DC and then it will process it to something like 19 point something volt as your charger's specifications so don't try to run an inductive load on this circuit it won't work now I'll explain the working and dimensioning of the components used in this circuit the IC used here is SG3525, it's a PWM IC. So I will program this IC to run at 100 kHz frequency, that is uh, it will generate 100 kHz square wave. I've used this formula to calculate the value of RD. So RD is 20 ohm according to the data sheet, frequency is 200 kHz and CT is uh, 2 nanofarad I already selected and I calculated the RT as a 3.5 kilo ohm. You might be thinking that uh, why I have used 200 kilohertz as earlier I have said that uh, this IC will generate 100 kilohertz so well uh, this IC utilizes a flip flop in the outer stage so which uh, just reduces the frequency to its half so that's why I have used 200 kilohertz now I'll be using this formula to calculate the uh, primary turns of the uh, transformer that is ferrite core transformer so here uh, the V in is 12 volt that is uh, norm nominal voltage frequency is 100 kilohertz B max is 1500 according to the data sheet and AC is again uh, 0.997 according to the data sheet so the N primary was uh, calculated out to be two turns here you can see the data sheet of the ETD34 transformer it's a ferrite core transformer where A is selected as 97.1 in the data sheet the secondary turns of the transformer I calculated using this formula uh, where I have put V1 as 10.5 volt instead of 12 volt because the minimum voltage the battery will go is 10.5 uh, 10, 10 volts. So here the diode that I have chosen for rectification output rectification is 4007 and uh, this is the feedback part I will uh, make another video regarding this feedback because it will take some time to understand this feedback kind of thing. Then I started putting the components on the breadboard here as you can see in the video. Uh, basically on, on the breadboard I have made the driver stage and power stage I will make later on. Here is the ETD34 ferrite core transformer and the bobbin. I use this wire stands to wind the primary side of the transformers. I use this thin wire stand because uh, to avoid the skin effect. Winding the primary side is a bit tricky so you have to be patient a lot. I use this similar tape to secure the windings on the transformer. It was time to wind the secondary of the transformer with uh, 42 turns as I have already calculated. So I have used uh, 26 gauge wire to wind the secondary turns. I used my all time favorite MOSFET that is IRFZ44. I secured the IRFZ44 MOSFET on a heat sink to avoid the extra heat dissipated by the MOSFET.
uh, after that i soldered the wire on the uh, drain and the source of the mosfet and connected the gate of the mosfet to the breadboard circuitry that i have already made and as you can see i inserted the core of the etd34 into the bobbin i then secured the core with a tape so that uh, it can be tightly and uh, it will also avoid some leakage inductance in the uh, transformer as the transformer was the center tape type transformer so there were two primary turns so i joined the two alternate primary turns with each other and then i was left with the three wires of the uh, transformer that is three primary wires of the transformer then i connected my mosfets to the uh, etd34 transformer as i have already shown in the schematics after that uh, my power stage was almost ready then i selected the uf4007 to to make the rectifier stage that is rectifier output stage i also added 4.7 microfarad thin and 50 volt uh, capacitor to the uh, rectifier stage so after connecting the driver stage from the breadboard to the power stage that is transformer and the mosfet and uh, the powering up the whole circuit through a battery our project was completely ready and uh, it gave 220 volts output remember guys it's a dc 220 volt not an ac voltage so you can apply only smps based load on it don't ever try to apply an inductive load on it it won't work So as you can see here I have connected my laptop to this SMPS based circuit and it is working fine. If you find this video useful don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, thank you for watching.